Pearl GTL is an exciting partnership between Qatar Petroleum and Shell. It will be the world's largest GTL plant, adding an important source to Shell's product supply chain. Pearl GTL will be the world's largest source of GTL products, producing 140,000 barrels every day. The plant will also produce 120,000 barrels of natural gas liquids and ethane. GTL products use Shell's leading technology to create cost-effective products for our customers that are cleaner burning and can improve performance. There is a robust market outlook and we plan to use Shell's world-leading downstream trading and marketing capabilities to maximize the value of GTL products for both Qatar Petroleum and Shell. At Shell, we are establishing logistical hubs in major demand centers to optimize logistics costs, which will give Shell a high degree of flexibility in product placement. GTL gas oil is a versatile, cost-effective diesel-type fuel that will contribute to the diversification of the fuel supply and can significantly reduce levels of local emissions that affect air quality. Following ramp-up, Pearl GTL will produce approximately 50,000 barrels of GTL gas oil per day. That's enough to fill over 160,000 cars every day. Most of this will be used as a high-quality blend component with conventional oil-based diesel and supplied through the existing diesel distribution system. Trials have shown that when combusted in normal diesel engines, GTL gas oil produces significantly lower local emissions of air pollutant, such as particulates, carbon monoxide, hydrocarbons and nitrogen oxides. This makes it an attractive fuel for high population urban areas. In 2007, Shell partnered with Connection, a major Dutch bus operator in Delft, the Netherlands, to power some of their vehicles with GTL fuel. The results were very positive. Reduction of nitrogen oxides was approximately 15%, and for certain particulates it was almost the same. This was achieved by delivering comparable, or even better, performance. In July 2010, Van Hanswinkel, one of the largest Dutch waste collectors, undertook another series of real-world trials of GTL fuel, and simultaneously TNO Netherlands, a specialist test facility, carried out a detailed emissions analysis. The test showed a reduction of 10 to 15%, of fine material and nitrogen oxides. And GTL gas oil has a number of other advantages. It can contribute to noise reductions in certain engines and improve cold start performance, acceleration and ignition. In addition, we believe GTL gas oil could substantially improve exhaust after treatment durability, leading to a prolonged after treatment lifetime and reduce maintenance costs. GTL kerosene is an exciting alternative to conventional oil-based kerosene. It can be used for heating and lighting, but its primary use is expected to be for aviation. Bell GTL is expected to produce around 25,000 barrels per day of GTL kerosene. The American Society for Testing and Materials, ASTM, has approved use of GTL jet fuel, a blend of up to 50% GTL kerosene with conventional oil-based kerosene. And in 2009, a Qatar Airways Airbus A340 made the first commercial passenger flight using GTL jet fuel between London and Doha. Because GTL kerosene burns with virtually zero sulfur dioxide and produces lower particulate emissions than conventional oil-based kerosene, it can be attractive for improving air quality at busy airports. GTL kerosene also has higher energy density than conventional oil-based kerosene, which reduces required fuel payload and requires less weight of fuel to cover the same distance. GTL base oils represent an alternative starting point for the manufacture of finished lubricants, which keep vehicle engines, gearboxes and transmissions operating smoothly. Pearl GTL will be one of the world's largest sources of lubricant base oil, with the capacity to produce about 30,000 barrels per day, enough to fill 225 million cars per year. Shell is one of the world's leading marketers of finished lubricants and will use GTL base oils from Pearl GTL to formulate finished lubricants that address needs for improved energy efficiency, longer equipment life and reduced maintenance costs. And it's not just about transport. GTL Normal Paraffin is an alternative premium feedstock for the productions of detergents such as washing powder and soap. It's more cost-effective than conventional oil-based kerosene-derived normal paraffin because it simplifies the production process. Shell GTL normal paraffin also frees the producer from the necessity to build its plant next to a refinery and also simplifies the setup and operation of its plant. GTL naphtha is an alternative high-quality feedstock for chemical manufacturing 
offering superior yields of ethylene and propylene and lower feedstock costs than conventional naphtha. This means that each litre of GTL naphtha can produce more plastics at the same or reduced cost. At Shell we are really looking forward to the ramp up of Pearl GTL and with our partner Qatar Petroleum bringing significant quantities of high quality GTL products to customers around the world.